Let me ask you a question. Why is peace? The world has had wars since the beginning of time, but nowadays we're experiencing an exponential growth in violence. Because of weapons, they are much more powerful than ever, and because of a standard decrease in moral conscience. Peace has always been asked for, and never achieved. We sometimes think that peace is the absence of war, but in practice it's not that straightforward. Even if your country is not at war, it doesn't mean that the people's heart is at peace. It is comparable to saying that health is the absence of disease. But we know that health is much more than that. It's a positive state of complete physical, mental and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease. Similarly, peace is a positive state where there exists social justice and brotherhood in an enabling environment, and not merely the absence of war. As Martin Luther King Jr. used to talk about negative peace, and that is one where there is no outright war, but there is an underlying tension and anxiety. On the other hand, a positive peace is one where there is a presence of justice and brotherhood. Conflict still exists intrastate, and there are many main factors that play a role in it. First being cultural and religious differences between the people. And these have encouraged political instability and even conflicts of extreme violences in some cases. The second one is economic and social inequality. The line between the rich and the poor has always caused, caused conflicts and turmoil within a country. And the third one is political inequality. And out of all the many different political ideologies and rulings there have been, the main uh, ideal one would be having two parties with opposing views but the same goal in mind, and that is the people's needs and interests. What is the solution to this? As the saying goes, peace building is like 10,000 small steps and requires action from two fronts. First, from the leaders. We need good leaders who have the people's needs at heart. And they should focus on lowering inequality and unemployment and being citizen oriented and not politics oriented and having a justice system that is fair and reliable. The second and main one is from us, the people. We need to break down social norms and make more conscious and rational decisions in our everyday lives and remarks. We need to help one another and have more empathy. Let me finish up with this one-liner. Peace will only be achieved when we can look at one another as fellow human beings without any label.